Welcome back to the Algebra video series. This is video 4 and we're having a look at dividing algebra terms this time. Okay, the rules for dividing algebra terms. Step 1 is uh, let's write any divisions, let's write them in fraction form. There's something about fraction form that helps our brain work a little bit uh, better. So we'll write any divisions in fraction form as the, as the very first step. We can divide numbers from the bottom of a fraction uh, into the top just normally. And we also, what we, what we say is cancel down letters where possible. Well, all these uh, terms cancelling down will be fully explained in this video here. Let's have a look at an example. Now this uh, question, this division question, is uh, written out horizontally. And so uh, when we're uh, starting off as our first step here, well, let's write, any, write this division in fraction form. Now the bottom of any fraction divides into the top, so that 5m is going to be on the bottom. Let's see how that works out. We're going to write the 25m in on top, and we're going to write the 5m on the bottom of the fraction, just so that things work a little bit better for our brain. Now step two is uh, we divide the numbers normally, um, and so this 5 on the bottom can divide into the top, but it's safest if we do this cancelling down method, whether it's for the numbers or the letters. To say, uh, when we say we cancel down, we're finding a number and, uh, some, and or sometimes a letter to divide into the top and the bottom of a fraction. You know your fraction rules. If you do the same thing to the top and the bottom, you're on safe ground. So let's have a look at how, how we talk to ourselves as we are cancelling down. So we say to ourselves, OK, 5 can go into the bottom and it goes how many times? Once. 5 goes into 5 once. And into the top, 5 divides in 5 times. So that's, uh, that's cancelled down the numbers. We've found a number, 5, that goes into the top and the bottom and we've divided it in. So we see that there's a letter M that's on the top and the bottom, so we'll divide the bottom M by M and go, it goes once and M goes into the top once as well. So by cancelling down the numbers and the letters, we're simplifying things. Then we can just uh, have, a, have a look at what uh, numbers we have um, surviving after we've done that cancelling down. On the top, you can see that we've got a 5 times a 1 times an n, and I've illustrated that there. And on the bottom, we've really got a 1 times a 1. And so if we multiply across here, we get 5 times 1 times n, which would be 5n. And on the bottom, we have a 1 as well. Now you know from your fraction work that anything over 1 can be just written without that 1 on the bottom. So our final answer there is 5n. So quite a lot we've done there. We've found a number that can go into the top and the bottom, and we've divided it in carefully. And we've found a letter that can divide into the top and bottom, and we've done that carefully. And our answer is just going to be uh, the calculation of what's left after we've done that cancelling. Let's have a look at another example. 8m divided by 32mn. Now step one was to uh, write this out in fraction form. So we write the first, num first term on top and the second term on the bottom here. Can you spot a number that might be able to be um, divided into 8 and 32? The biggest number that can go into both of those is 8. So uh, 8 goes into 32 four times. And when 8 divides into 8, it goes once. Once again, there's M's on the bottom and the top there. Maybe I should have picked a different letter for this question. But M can divide into the bottom and go once, and into the top going once. And we'll write out what, uh, what's left. Can you see that the top has a 1 times a 1, and the bottom has a 4 times a 1 times an N? So let's write that out carefully and just uh, calculate the final answer there. Across the top, 1 times 1, and 4 times 1 times N becomes 4N on the bottom there. So a lot of cancelling, we found a number, 8 in this case, that divides into the top and the bottom. And we found a, a, a letter M that divides into the top and bottom. And our answer is really just what's left after all those things occur. So that's the end of uh, the video on dividing uh, algebra terms. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.